Hello, I'm Kate Gallego and this is On The Go. I'm at Lassen Elementary School in the Roosevelt School District, highlighting a great summer program that teaches students about restaurant jobs, food, nutrition, math, and science. I'm here with Irma, the co-sponsor of the Positive Reflections Club. Welcome. Thank you for hosting us. Can you tell us a little bit about the program? We started about 30 years ago or more, and it started as the principal asking um, the home ec teacher, I know no one knows what home ec is anymore, to help cater an event for principals and then it evolved from there and it's like, well, you guys did so well, why don't you do a breakfast next week and next week and next week? And then they got into the mindset, well, hey, this program, we ought to do something with it. So then they started involving a lot of the kids into it. Kids hands on, life skills. Life skills that somehow have disappeared that they're not getting anymore. So now it has really become a part of this campus. Everybody in the district knows us now. So it's, it's, it's just a neat program that kids come, they learn the kitchen, they learn business, they learn uh, reading labels, they learn about recipes, they learn about table setting, they learn how to write a check. Who writes a check anymore? So it, it's evolved in so many different ways. And what is your background and connection to the district? Well, I was in the classroom for about 33 and a half years, and then I retired, and I was brought back, and I was asked by Chris, although I had helped her out before, she had asked me, she said, you want to you help me? I said, sure. I miss being with kids, I want to be with kids, and I love hands-on, so this was the perfect fit. Fabulous, well thank you for co-sponsoring this important effort, it's wonderful to get kids eating healthy and get them some useful skills as well. What do you learn? What do you do as, as some of the projects? Well, with fourth graders, we learn nutrition. We learn about the five food groups. We learn about reading labels. We learn about the health benefits of your, your food groups. We learn about um, testing things and not being afraid to try things. You may have not ever eaten this. Please try it. And the kids are really good. In fifth grade, they do gardening. So we do a lot of gardening and learning about insects and bugs and birds and what to keep away from our plants. And not, again, not being afraid to try it out. Sixth, seventh, and eighth are in the kitchen. They're in the kitchen, they're meal planning, they're looking at recipes, they're learning math skills and science. So it's not just kitchen, it's other things also. And uh, we have a restaurant, we have a bakery, so it's a lot of different things. Do you think this is a potential career path for any of our students? Oh, by all means. We've had other kids go on to other places that involve food. And at the time they were here, maybe we just kind of lit a flame, a spark, and then from there it went. So, yes, definitely. And are they learning about business as well? Yes. They do business challenges during our school year. They do competitions and uh, they have their own restaurant name and their own entree that they're going to make and then they compete with other groups. So yeah, they learn a little bit of business. Let's make us hungry. What are some of the dishes that have been very popular? Sweet dishes or main dishes? We did uh, a chili cook-off. We did um, a restaurant where they could make their own. One group did lasagna, another one did a sub, another one did like a pasta dish and they do the exploring, they do research on their own, and they come up with what they want to cook, so. Excellent, these are good students to know. You'll eat well if you're friends. Oh yes, you'll eat very well if you're, if you're here on campus. Who are some of the co-sponsors that allow this program to happen? Well, Chris Ellis is the one that developed the program, and then we have people throughout district, our, our board members are always in favor of, of this. We have lifelong former students that contribute to the program. We have former teachers that contribute donations to the program. Well, we have the community. They come and eat here at a restaurant on Friday mornings. We used to have a South Phoenix uh, Police Department that used to come and eat here. So, you know, we, we have our name out there. And thank you, thank you, Arizona Restaurant Association that they've helped us out, so. Fabulous. Well, it sounds like a great partnership. I'm glad our officers are in the schools and enjoying our talented students. Is there anything you want to add about the program? We're the best hidden secret. I mean, people know about us, but there's a lot that don't know about us. And we rely heavily on tax credit donations and other donations. Um, if it wasn't for Arizona Restaurant Association, we probably wouldn't be here for this past summer. So uh, right now the farm is here, and we thank them for helping us out. The farm is one of our favorites, so thank you for partnering and leading this great program and for your service to our district.
Coming up next, we're going to talk with Pat Cristofolo, chef and entrepreneur who's been part of this program. I love these. Um, this is what you usually see, right? When you buy carrots this color. But isn't this more fun? These are uh, rainbow carrots. And I um, peeled these already. I washed them and peeled them. So check this out. I'm Kate Gallego, here with Pat Cristofolo, one of our District 8 community leaders, restaurateur, and chef. Thank you for joining us. Can you tell us how you got into the restaurant industry? Well, it, it's been over a long period of time, started in the 70s. My first job was a waitress at Macayo's in downtown uh, Phoenix, and that was my favorite, favorite job that I ever had. I was actually a waitress. I put my money in a shoebox and I thought that was great that people left me money on a table. <laughs> um, after that my father opened an Italian deli in Tempe and I worked with him for many years and then went on to do a sandwich shop and as my business developed I became a caterer and a full-service restaurant person. So I love the business. Wonderful. Any advice for these young people who are part of the club here today about getting into the restaurant industry? Well, I think I think some of these kids actually already have their sights set on being a chef. As they go, they really need to know that you can start out at the bottom. And even as a dishwasher, we have many people in our kitchen now that run our kitchens that actually started out as a dishwasher not all that long ago. So the advice is, is that you have to go in, you have to have a good attitude, you have to work hard, and you have to have a good lifestyle outside of the restaurant so that you're good and strong when you're in the restaurant. Very good advice and will apply regardless of whether they go into the industry or not. Great. What is your partnership with the school district and the program in particular? Well, you know, we were, we have been working with de different people in the South Mountain area because we have the farm at South Mountain and they come to us and we have had groups that have come to the property and seen, uh, learned about gardening. We also feel like it's very important to teach people how to feed other people. I mean, the goal in a restaurant and in the food business is to feed people the best food that you can, whether it's a hamburger, a steak, a salad. It has to be prepared correctly and delicious. We are lucky to have you. Can you tell us a little bit about the farm at South Mountain, what's there and what people might be able to enjoy? Yes, I would love to. The farm is a 10-acre property on 32nd Street and Southern. There's three restaurants on the property, and it's a breakfast, lunch, and dinner restaurant. Breakfast is casual, get your own coffee, but you're sitting outside next to the organic garden, so it's amazing. The lunch is you get your lunch in a picnic basket. You walk out to where the trees are, and you sit under the trees on a picnic table, and you sometimes don't even feel like you're in Phoenix. It's actually one of my favorite places to bring people who are visiting Phoenix so they yes. can get a unique taste of our agricultural roots and our beautiful outdoors. Yes, it is good. And then, as you know, we have uh, Quiescence, which is our fine dining concept. And um, that's another success story in a way, is my son is the chef there. And he's done an amazing job uh, he used to manage the front of house, but he had an interest in the food and how it was prepared. He went to culinary school, came back, and has worked very hard 
building a great restaurant. It is delicious. Thank you. Well, thank you for partnering with our school, our students, and providing a great destination in Phoenix. So I'm so happy to be here, and I can't wait to share more with the kids. Thank you. This has been On The Go with Kate Gallego. As always, feel free to contact our office if we can help you with anything. And why do you think they taste better? And then they brought it to Phoenix, uh, to our restaurant, so that we could prepare it for you. Little Jeff? Is that what you told me?